So you're a beginner or an intermediate user of Linux and you want this desktop. And by the end of the video, you will have it. Hello friends, I'm Moon and today I'm going to tell you how you can have this desktop. The purest form of how Linux should look like. A distribution with such a beautiful Hyperland desktop. All you need is just a single command and that's it. Not just that, we're going to install this whole bloody setter one by one in the easiest way possible which should be really efficient and you don't have to worry about anything you're a beginner i am the expert and let's begin now let me just give you the context of what we'll actually do here this is fedora workstation one of the most stable and powerful and performative linux distribution in the world of linux right now we'll combine this with the hyperlink desktop and a really beautiful setup Okay, so this is my desktop, right now I'm on Windows and let's start by downloading the files. Let's download Fedora Workstation from the official website. Make sure you download the Workstation Edition, not the Plasma one. Then go to the Rufus website and download Rufus tool. Now, open the Rufus tool, select your, you know, USB and then the Fedora Workstation ISO and start the process. Now, it is gonna take some time and while that's happening, Let's move to the next step, that is to clear space so that we can install Fedora in dual boot. Just, well, you don't have to make partitioning or anything else. That's the beauty of Fedora. All you need to do is just leave some space. Here, I'm planning to leave around 270 or 80 GBs. I'm just gonna delete an old partition of mine and that's where I will install Fedora. Uh, well, if you don't have something like that or something like that partition, just shrink your main drives and create some space, some unallocated space. That's it. Now, once the USB has been flashed, our process on Windows is completed. Okay, so now we are set. You have your flash drive. Then you have the right amount of disk. The right amount of unallocated empty space, not in partition. Empty space for your Fedora workstation. Now, it is time to boot it up. So here we are in the boot menu, just make sure you have your secure boot off. You can also make it work while having secure boot on. It's just a preference now these days, you know. It doesn't properly matter, like most of, those, most of the things will work without any problem. Now leaving that, let's boot our USB. Now I'm just gonna directly start this up and here we are on this beautiful Fedora workstation. And now we're going to install it. Okay, so here we are on Fedora desktop and this is what Fedora looks like. For those people who don't know, it's just GNOME desktop with Fedora base. Now, what we're gonna do is just open the setup, choose the language and now choose this particular option. Don't go for reclaim space, unselect that and just install alongside the other operating system. That's all you need to do and just start the installation, that's it. Isn't it the most easiest operating system installation ever? You don't even have to worry about partitioning anymore. Okay, so after the most easiest operating system installation and the fastest, let's boot it up. And as you can see, we have a multi-boot setup now. So let's boot into Fedora Workstation now. There we go. Enter the password. You know, do the setup things. And here it is. GNOME Desktop on Fedora. Now, I really love the GNOME Desktop, but we're going to go a little further and go all in into this beautiful desktop. For which, first, update all the drivers and applications with just this single command. Sudo dnf update, that's it. And now it is time to install the real setter, what you actually came to do. Now, search on Google for end4.files Fedora. Now go to the website and you just have to copy this one command. This one command is all you need. Copy it. Now open the terminal and paste it, hit enter and now choose, you know, the installation option 1 and type your password. That's it. Everything will be done automatically, you don't have to even touch your device. Well, just touch it if in case it goes to sleep, you know, like after 5 or 7 minutes or something. But you don't have to do anything, you can easily see what's going on, how everything is being installed and it will do everything automatically. That's it. And once the process is completed, just go to the quick menu and log out. Now, in the GDM, which is like this login manager, choose Hyperlan from this gear icon. And after you see this message that the installation setup has been completed, 
All you need to do is just log out of the desktop and log in into Hyperland. Like this. Yep, that's it. You're done. Now, in this beautiful desktop of Hyperland, first you will need to do the setup. As you can see, just choose the language and get the stuff like which sort of layout do you want. And now, we're just going to see how this looks like. So, as you can see, it is like so damn beautiful and you have multiple options for the top status bar as well. Now, you can either browse the options, try different modes, and just check how things work here. You have this beautiful material you design well. Info.files is like, what if Google were to create an operating system? It would definitely look like this. This is actually beautiful, isn't it? The quick settings menu, even better than what Google could have ever done. And then you have the start menu, you have the application, and even Gemini on the top left corner. Now. The first thing which I'm going to do here is to grab a beautiful wallpaper because the wallpaper is what will actually make everything look good, everything better. So this is the wallpaper I ended up with. This is Daenerys Targaryen from House, well, not House of the Dragon like Game of Thrones. Nice, isn't it? Like this wallpaper is very nice. You can find the link of my wallpaper collection in the description. Now besides that, let me just let you see how i go through the whole operating system with a music in the background just enjoy okay So this is the beginning of the beginning of your last journey with Hyperlan and Fedora. What you actually need to do like the next most important thing is to install proper GPU drivers. Like yes, you had the updates, all the drivers, but for those people who have NVIDIA RTX 3050 or 4050 or whatever GPU, like which requires a proper HU driver. And if you have an AMD GPU driver, like AMD dedicated GPU as well and you have like multiple GPUs, an iGPU and a dedicated GPU. For those people, you will need to properly set that up to make sure that your laptop runs very fast and give you the most out of your battery life as well. Give you the performance when you need it and then give you the battery life for the rest of the time. That's the main point of having such a powerful and customizable desktop. And then the next thing, I'm going to create my own creative studio on this Linux desktop. Like, yes, to be honest, like, I really want to do it this time. Affinity on Linux works flawlessly, thanks to Proton and Luchis. And DaVinci Resolve Studio has been just voila. So, like, my whole design and editing studio is available on Linux. So, wa like, what the hell I'm doing on Windows? That's why I switched to Linux. Like, I'm going to create a full creative studio on my linux desktop and create a video about it and share it with you then we're going to install a lot of games properly and create a proper gaming setup within that desktop as well and then we're going to optimize our laptop for like batch life performance and all the other stuff all of it in this particular setup so don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss these amazing videos which are coming soon like really soon and with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know, like, how was this video? I've put a lot of effort in this. Like, for the first time, I created, like, proper script. I had multiple visuals and B-rolls most of the time, sometimes, like, yeah. And background music and spent hours into editing and thumbnail as well. So, like, tell me, how's it? And what are the things I need to fix, remove? add, edit, modify, whatever. Just give me all the suggestions, whatever comes into your mind. All the suggestions are welcome and I'm, I'm going to meet you in the next video. Till then, I'm on, signing out.